Lesson 811, Fractions and Measurement. The main focus of this lesson is for you to solve fraction comparison number stories, for you to analyze fraction data from a table, to compu compute with fractions and convert units, and to solve problems and convert measurements. But let's start first with our mental math and fluency. 691 times 2. Well, 2 times 1 is 2, so I know in my last one spot will be a 2. 2 times 9 is 18. Sorry, that's a bad 8. I'll carry the 1. And 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So 691 times 2 is 1,382. Again, we start with the 1's place. 4 times 4 is 16. I carry the 1. 4 times 0 is 0, but plus 1 is 1. And then 4 times 5 is 20. So 504 times 4 is 2016. And finally, 9 times 6 is 54. I put the 4 down in the 1 spot. I carry the 5. 9 times 3 is 27. Plus 5 is 32. I put the 2 down. I carry the 3. And 9 times 7 is 63. Plus 3 is 66. So my answer for 736 times 9 is 6,624. Continue always to study those multiplication facts, even if I don't mention it in the video or the recording. Please open your math journal to page 306. Read this to yourself as I read it out loud. It says, A manufacturer of dry puppy food offers the following feeding guidelines for small and toy breeds based on the age of the puppy. All food measurements are given in cups per day. Use the information in the table below to solve the number stories. Use drawings, tables, or equations to show what you did. So notice it's being real specific here that you need to show me the work that you did in order to get the answer for this page. So should a one pound nine nine week old puppy eat more than or less than or the same amount as a one pound nine month old puppy. So look at the difference. So a one pound, there's puppy's weight, one pound, nine week old puppy should eat a half a pound. And a one pound nine month old pup, puppy, one pound nine month old puppy should eat one eighth of a pound. Well, half a pound would be four A's, so they actually eat less. Be prepared to explain your answer. We'll show the equivalencies of one half would equal four A's. And it's telling you the nine month old should only eat one eighth of the amount. So you actually would be giving the nine week old puppy three ace more. So now for the actual problem that's on page 306. It says, Santiago rescued two shelter puppies. Buddy is five months old and weighs about five pounds. So is about five months old and weights five pounds. So five months old, you're about here. Cody is six weeks old and weighs about 20 pounds. So he's 20 pounds and he's six, week old, six weeks old. Santiago wants to buy enough food to feed Buddy and Cody for two weeks. So how many days is that? Because this is cups per day. Each bag of food sold at the store weighs six pounds. One cup of food weighs about four ounces. How many bags of food does Santiago need? So what's the information that we need? Basically what it's telling us is we're just looking at Buddy. So we don't even need this information. So now answer the question. When you finish the question, go check it in the answer key. If you got it wrong, bring it up to me and I will show you what you did incorrectly. Make sure you checked in with me on math journal page 306 because math journal page 307 is an ACI, an assessment check-in. 
And if you understood how to do number one, page 307 should be easier for you. So 307 now reads, Delilah weighs three pounds and is six months old. How many cups of food should she eat in two days? You're going to need to go to page 306 to look at the pounds and the age and the recommendation of cups of food for Delilah. Stop the recording now and do number two. Once you finish two, why don't you go ahead and do three? It says Bella weighs 15 pounds and is a third year old. How much food should she eat in three days? So you're going to have to figure a third of a year is how many months and then complete this problem. Number four says Jimbo weighs 10 pounds and is five months old. Buster weighs 10 pounds and is 11 months old. In one week, how much more should Jimbo eat than Buster? So you got a couple things you got to work out there before you can come up with your answer. And then number five says, in five days following the feeding guidelines, Martin fed his puppy six and seven eighths cups of food. About how much does the puppy weigh and about how old is it? So first you're going to have to feed, figure out how much you fed him per day. So you're going to have to figure out five, what number at it five times will come up with six and seven eighths cups of food. Pause the recording now. When you have finished, bring it up to me so I can check it off of your ACI. And then you'll turn the recording back on for your next instruction. Next, you're going to do math journal page 308. They are math boxes. Number one says there are five students who want to share 175 yards of yarn equally. How many inches of yarn will each student get? So first you're going to have to figure out the yards that each student would get and then you'll have to convert that into inches. Number two asks you to circle the correct answer when multiplying seven times three and two thirds. Math box three says we have six plastic plates. Each weighs three eighths a pound. How many ounces do they weigh all together? So first you're going to take the six and three eighths and find it in pounds and then convert it into ounces. Number four says the pet store has seven fish bowls. Each one is filled with four tenths gallons of water. How much total water is in all of the fish bowls? And finally, five is a writing reasoning question. Explain how you solve problem two. Again, stop the recording. When you finish math journal page 308, go up to the answer key, correct it, bring it to me if there was anything that you did not understand correctly, and I will help you. The final thing you will do for this lesson is Math Masters, page 340. You can read this to yourself, or if you need assistance, you can keep recording this to hear what it is saying on your paper. If you decide not to listen to me reading this, make sure that you bring Math Masters, page 340, up to me so that I can check off that you are done with lesson 811. This Math Masters reads, the Whispering Lakes Neighborhood Association is having a hamburger cookout. Each family can choose whether to order the hamburgers or bring their own. Use the information in the table to solve the number stories. Use drawings, tables, or equations to show what you did. So I need to see the work that you did to come up with the answer. What is the combined weight of one of each size burger? So you'd have to combine these together to get it in pounds. B. How many ounces is that? So you're going to have to convert those pounds into ounces. C. Mrs. Ward found 80 ounce packages of hamburger on sale. If she needs to make two of each size hamburger, how many packages of meat will she need to buy? Number two. The Finch family ordered two small burgers, one medium hamburger and one jumbo hamburger. How many pounds of hamburger meat does the neighborhood association need to buy for this family? And finally, do the practice multiplications on the bottom. Again, bring this Math Masters, page 340, up to me once you are done.